Hey everyone, how are you? This is a quick one today about testing the Panasonic Lumix FT7 camera and yeah, just want to give it a ride, just run it, no microphones, no nothing, just purely it, just to see as a something you can chuck in your bag and go and get some video and take some shots. Make a interesting video I think. No flippy screen, no nothing, don't know if I'm in focus. All on intelligent auto, so uh, we'll get to see how that works. Heaps of duckies down here at the river, Swan River. See out for me daily exercise. See what that picture turns like out. Something different. It's a beautiful little part of Perth, the Swan River. It's always got something beautiful to look at. This is just outside Guildford. I don't know. Just thought I'd... I had it with me. I thought I'd chuck it in and take some photos if I seen anything. And I thought, well, why not just do a vlog test with it and see how it goes. Well, uh, I'll see what else I can get while I'm riding around. Bit of stability checking. Just on a dirt track. Normally GoPro would handle it's not too bad. A few bumps there. First love, we were young and wild. We were up all night. You don't forget that summer sun, 2009. Feeling high, and I got drunk for the first time. I thought I was cool, I thought I looked smooth in your eyes and tried to make a move. It was all my time. And yeah, I thought I would just go with a bit of a bit more stability testing and a bit of, bit of dark light on the old video, see how that comes out. Using my new Tiger's Media gimbal, which is my right arm, and doing a bit of bush bashing, and hopefully I don't crash. Ah! Oh! <coughs> there goes the knee. Has that dynamic range now, Panasonic? Oh! <laughs> Just smashed my knee <laughs> on a tree. That's too funny. I did get a photo of that just before this little log when it first come down. I might just get another one now with a different light that a bit more colour on it. <laughs> and I'll let my knee recover from that handlebar smash. So damn high, we could touch the sky. Drunk on love, drunk on your lips. The feeling I will forever. Hey, here, Rodio. Well, I've been stuffing around. I um, playing with all the creative filters in there and just going through everything and just shooting and shooting and shooting and see if we get some shots. You never know. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. It's a bit of off the cuff photography, which is sometimes you get surprised by what you can do. One lens, one option. Did an underwater shot. Uh, the water was pretty dirty. Uh, just trying anything I can, you know. And I've just seen this one, which I've just pulled up. With this leading ledge here of grass. And then you going up to it like a double sun because we've got a reflection down here and then we've got the sun up here and, the, and the just beautiful flat water of that river just there. So that looks pretty spectacular. Can't hang around for the sunset, unfortunately. I've got to go into my little buddy Jack. I'll just come out for some exercise, and yeah, here we are again, a little something. I might be able to hear the check the sound because that's the train in the background going to the city. Anyway, why not? 
concrete no matter what, I think, is what Adorama is saying, and it's a great saying, and just just do it. You can't stuff it up if you try. It's, uh, you can only fail if you don't do something. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Let's keep rolling. Don't forget your first kiss. We were so damn high. We could touch the sky. Drunk on love. That's probably a short video if I can get something out of it, but uh, maybe you've enjoyed it. A bit of exercise, it's amazing what you can see and do. Panasonic Lumix FT7. You'll see by the photos how good it is. Hopefully, the video will show you the video side and definitely if you can find out about the sound. Driving on the main road and on a push bike, and I don't think it's going to have that Panasonic stabilization that it's been renowned for, but. See you anyway. Anyway, if you like this video, smash the subscribe, hit the likes. We'll see you next time. It's a good night from me. A good night from the cows. Most you can't see. Anyway, have a great day. Hey guys, Rodeo. So, Panasonic Lumix FT7. Um, well, let's go through it. You would have seen by the video, the audio was some some instances it was actually actually better than what I expected. I actually expected with no external microphone this to be just terrible, and I would have had to dub over it or not use it and forget the whole video. That was probably my biggest concern was the audio on this. But it did surprise me in a couple of instances uh, where I wasn't moving and the, I think it, a majority of it was the wind. If you get that wind out of it, it wasn't too bad. If it, yeah, it def if this had an audio jack, it would be rather good for video. The biggest problem I had and I did you would have seen, you'll see a heap of the, at the start of the video, four little like short, looks like short videos. That's actually the 4K photo mode. What it does is it takes like three seconds of 4K video and then you can go through and select one of these myriad of photos out of that. 
The problem is you have to do it then and there. You can't come back to it later in the afternoon and go through them and, and select it then. So you've got to stop what you're doing, take this 4K photo, sit there and stuff around through 60 frames or if it's 10 seconds, there's 240 frames and sit there and go, yeah, that's the one I want. Like, and and on a t on a tiny screen, it just doesn't work. It, I'm sorry, it just doesn't work. Panasonic, that just can't work. So I thought I'd put them in to give you an idea because there's a few there I did in 4K photo that I think would have been nice photos, uh, but they because it was in 4K, all I've got is the video, and you can't go back unless I go and pick one frame, and it's just you know no one's gonna ever do that in editing and then that and they're not raw so it's you you can't edit i the only edit photo i did edit <clears throat> out of the ones i've chucked in there uh you'll see a little like a little island i did put like a little bronzy bit of color little rusty sort of a orange to it i did go through and play with that one for a little bit um because that was probably the one that should have been a really nice photo but it, even then because they're not raw, you can't really do it. So photography-wise, chuck it in your pocket, go and do stuff. Yeah, you're going to capture the moment. You're going to get a decent image. You're not going to get anything by any means awesome. I'm sorry. Uh, Video-wise, the video is good. The low light, you can see I chucked in a couple of videos, just a bit of pitch black at work. Uh, a, it picked up the audio. You can even with the only noise I could hear was the engine uh, on the truck starting up, uh, but there was some background noise in there as well. That shouldn't have there shouldn't have been anything like that. All you should have heard was that big massive diesel engine going. So there's definitely audio issues with the unit, um, and that's something Panasonic needs to think about in the future. And they can fix that easily by putting put a freaking hot shoe jack on there and put a mic out. And a mic in so we can do what we need to do that would be perfect uh, because you stick to photography and film because you're terrible at friggin audio um, and, and that was my biggest biggest issue with this is audio um, some I did get some nice photos and I'm not going to say the, on, the, on the bad side uh, would I still use it I've thought about should I go and resell it again but no um, I'll keep this because A, it's good for fishing. When I go fishing in the Barra Classic, I can take it and I know I'm going to get a really good photo, clear photo of the fish. I can get covered in salt water and all the crap and I don't have to worry about it. It is pretty much indestructible, even more so than a GoPro. Uh, another beauty of it is if it's pissing down rain, I can just put this on a tripod and let it film and then I can go and be undercover with all my stuff. <laughs> trying to get a photo and this thing can just sit out in the rain. I don't have to worry about covering it. I can just let it go and just film. And I know at least I've got footage. I can do B-roll. I can do whatever. I can just shove the, I can just throw this on a rock if I need to and I don't have to worry about it. So in that regards, I think it does have a lot of value and it does. it is a decent camera and in that, in that aspect. As my backup camera, it's, it's very tricky. I think the GoPro, unfortunately, pips it because the GoPro, I can add sound in and I can vlog with it. The GoPro is terrible at dark. Um, it is woeful in low light. This is better at low light, without a doubt better, but the sound just kills me. I can't, I can't do a vlog with this when I know the sound's going to be crap because, unfortunately... A, I'm still learning, and B, I cannot, it's very hard to fix sound. It's a lot easier to fix an image than it is to fix sound. There's probably guys out there that can do it, but I am definitely not one of those. I'm, yeah, I need something that I can do that. And the GoPro gives me really good sound. Yeah, it might be a little bit warped. It might be a little bit funny. Uh, if I don't have enough light at night time, well, then, yeah, you're not going to be able to see the background. I've got to work on that. That's my own issue. But uh, overall, 
you know, I'm probably going to give this about a six, six out of ten, five to six out of ten. And the majority of that is is build quality. It's built like a brick shit house. It's friggin' awesome in that regards. It does take a decent photo, not an awesome photo, but a decent photo, and it's pretty simple to use. And all I can give you is hot tip: stay the hell away from the 4K photo. That is stupid. Stick with your normal photos. And the only other issue I have with this, and it's probably another issue, but that's another reason why it's only a six, is there's no manual mode. It has manual mode, but you can't do anything. You can't adjust aperture. You can't set it to aperture priority. You can't set it to shutter priority. You can't do anything like that. And that's all you need. I'm not talking, to, I don't need a full manual mode in one of these, but a Panasonic, if you're listening, an aperture mode or a shutter mode in this would be insane as well as that mic jack you do that and you will sell shit tons other than that it's yeah really good camera nothing wrong with it in regards to just normal use if you're looking for something to travel and just do generic stuff with and you're not too worried about audio then definitely get this this thing will get thrown in your suitcase and last you a long time right here guys thanks for watching the video I hope this helps out if uh, you've been looking at this camera and trying to work it out. Um, I'm still keeping it. I'm not getting rid of it. I, I'm definitely going to get some use out of it. So it's definitely not a blowout. Anyway, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.